But I want to know why you wore that Trump hat in here. Tell uh, me about this Trump I'm, hat. I'm a, I'm a diehard Trump supporter. Uh, in my household, uh, you got Martin Luther King, mm -hmm. you got Jesus, and you got Donald Trump. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Not in that particular order, but yeah, you got yeah, Martin Luther King, Jesus, and Donald Trump. Why you got Donald Trump? Now, you uh, know, well, I'm a straight Democrat, but I, I'm for the best person. Oh, uh, yes, but sir. Now, why you got Donald Trump? Uh, because I paid attention in school uh, when I was a kid, and so I know <laughs> I know the I know the true history of, of both the Republican uh, and Democratic Party. Uh, I know that they really didn't switch during during the Nixon Southern strategy. That one became more clever than the other in dealing with black people. Uh, we the Democrats niggers. We got away. We were the Republicans friends. We were their friends, but we were the Democrats niggers. Hmm. Uh, when you look at the 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 the, the, the the origins of the Ku Klux Klan, uh, it originated out of the Demo Democratic Party. The Ku Klux Klan? It did. Okay. Uh, uh, every, every civil rights legislation that ever has been passed in this country uh, was authored, uh, uh, written, uh, sponsored, and voted on 100% by Republicans and not Democrats. Every civil rights legislation. Well, what, what, what you going to do? So let me, let me feel the magic about Trump. Right. So, as a, so as a kid, I remember being six, seven years old, uh, and, and seeing Donald Trump re receiving an award with, 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 with Muhammad Ali, uh, Rosa Parks, mm. uh, from the NAACP. Uh, not only that, uh, he in, engaged and interacted in, in our culture from the 80s throughout the 90s and even the 2000s, from rappers to Michael Jackson. Uh, so when we looked out into our culture, his face appeared many, many times. Uh, so for me to grow up now and, and then hear the media, because before the media started saying he was racist, I never heard a black leader say it. I never heard my grandmother say it. I never heard no one even mention anything bad about him other than rappers giving him praise in over 300 to 600 rap songs. So for the media to say, oh, he's racist, I knew they were playing con on us. And I can remember when America was great. I can remember when black children could play outside all day long uh, and you didn't hear about kids being kidnapped. You didn't hear about drive-by shootings. I remember when, 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 when black people celebrated Juneteenth. We, 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 we ate together on Sunday. That was great during those times. So I remember when America was great. Uh, I'm, and you're talking to a 46-year-old to a, a man who's first-generation kid who got to experience Dr. King's dream of going to school and holding hands and living next door to white people. Black people really didn't do that in the 70s. They done it in the 80s when I grew up. Well, what what we going to do about... Trump, when he goes to jail, he's not going to jail. Uh, because <laughs> because one thing that's guaranteed to him mm. is a Secret Service protection, no matter what. So what 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 prison can he go to? With because he still has to have Secret Service. He the president of the United States of America. He cannot be in a general population of a prison. Do you do people really believe that our president, a former president, is gonna go do some time? I never happen. thought of it that way about the Secret Service. It's that guaranteed to him for life. That makes a point. So he'll never go to jail. So let me just so let me just say this. If y'all really believe he's going to jail, then show me his mugshot. You've been listening to The Other Side with Dwayne Carraway. Thank you for joining us. Tune in next time for more great guests, insightful conversation, a little bit of humor, and a whole lot of truth on The Other Side with Dwayne Carraway.